Here's a real life example of how we use Audacity Audio Editor in combination with a video editor to inspect and maybe clean some audio. So poking its nose round the corner is a file explorer on Windows 10 and a little while earlier I did an example clip of some ponies in a field. So what we're going to see here, um, if I just um, see, we can have some ponies in a field and in the distance in the background here where the mouse pointer is is a road and it gives us some quite horrible um, road noise and we can see if we can actually clean that so let me give you a taste of what it sounds like right now this is um, movie studio platinum 13 which is my default video editor let's play it <laughs> You can see at this st stage there is some really incredible background noise. The horses in the field. Are they friends? That'll do for the moment, won't it? Now, here's the thing. What we need to do is we can see that there is, if I go in, um, and I'm just using my arrow keys here, there is uh, low audio but it's incredibly noisy and then my spoken words anyway right click open a copy in an audio editor now my default that I've assigned is audacity and it will open up and I'm doing this in real time so if we get a few um, things going slow or a few screens to load so be it now what I'm going to do is you can see that a copy has opened up I've still got the existing copy over in um, my video editor but I've got this copy here. Now if I play it okay so same thing then over the top right here I'm going to fit the project to the window and you can clearly see some of my words so if I'm going to click here and play it's an overcast Tuesday lunchtime oh dear horrible audio but the whole point of it is is this demonstration of how we use audacity so what I'm going to do here I'm going to select this area which let's just play it first there's wind in there and there's traffic so I'm going to select it and then for those people who know what I'm about to do I will go to effect and I'm going to do some noise reduction and I'm going to get that noise which was this selected so it's now taken um, an example of what it thinks that it needs to clean then I'm going to click or select all which I kind of like have done I think um, is that right let me just, just do it one more time hold on click here and I'm going to do control A to select all of it then I'm going to do exactly the same and go back to noise reduction and this time I'm going to select OK and we wait while we're waiting I don't know what the effect is going to be because I'm doing it in real time and I've not done it like a few minutes ago oh something's happened doesn't it so let's play the clip again I'm just going to click um, at the start here so I'm going to go back to the beginning play still a lot of ambient isn't there is it any less though What's my voice sound like? It's an overcast. Oh, goodness. It's not great. It's not supposed to be great. It's supposed to be an example of how we use Audacity. So in other words, what we're going to do this time is I'm going to select everything. And then I'm just, just clicking in this big uh, rectangle down the left-hand side. I'm going to do effect. This time I'm going to normalize the track, which is my three-step process. See what happens there. Then I'm going to click in the left hand side again to select all and I'm going to compressor. And while that is making itself, has that done anything different? Let's play it from there. The horses in the field. Are they friends? Let's see what this sounds like. You may hear the sound. It's still busy on the background, isn't it? 
Anyway, the, the point of it is, is the example that I'm, I'm in Audacity, I'm cleaning the audio and I'm messing around with it. I can, not in this video, but I could go down and make some envelopes and I can actually start bringing these parts down. What I want to do is I want to, and I can't remember how to do this to be honest, is I'm going to save the project, no I'm not, I'm going to save other and I'm going to export that as a WAV file and I'm going to say horse at the start and I'll just make an, like a visual note of it's in downloads okay so just click OK there, click OK there and then I'm going to go back to this um, video editor and I want to get finished for everyone. I've got music track here that's fine and then I want to go down to the downloads so if I just click and hold that over here just to downloads I should see there it is horse and then I can bring that back in. This is the way I'm doing it anyway. Again, I, I love doing these things where I'm not sure because people can comment and say, actually, there's a better way to do that. And I'm all for that. So now to finish that, what we can do is say, there's the whole video. So let's mute that track and I can just play it from the beginning to see a before and after, if there even is a difference. <laughs> certainly a lot of examples there of the um, wind. I'm going to mute the original audio and bring in the new audio. Interesting. Let, let me just um, play this part. The horses in the field. I don't like my voice. It's really pulled that out. This was an example. The horses. Let's try that one. It's an overcast day. And then what was the new audio like in this? It's an overcast Tuesday lunchtime. And the horses. God, what a nightmare. The point of it was the example um, of how we can use a video editor. And remember, we got there by right clicking and you'll notice it says open in audio editor and open copy in audio editor. I always choose copy because I want to um, keep the original um, audio as is so I can be compare them to each other. So before I get tongue tied and mess about, I've been here for seven minutes which is a long time, but this is one example of how we use things in a real life situation. So let's finish here and see you in the next one. Thanks for watching and thanks for learning.